Hello and welcome back to Side Dye Tech. In this video, I'm gonna to show you how to make rosemary essential oil with using fresh rosemary and with using a chemistry distillation apparatus. Let's get started. <laughs> And these are the items that you're going to need to use for this project. And the items you're going to need is an Erlenmeyer flask, connected to a vacuum takeoff joint, connected to a gram condenser, connected to a thermometer joint, connected to a Florence flask, and of course you're going to need a thermometer to be able to measure your steam. And you're also going to need a heating mantle, a fresh bundle of rosemary, I have right here a cauldron, but you can use any kind of pot filled up with ice packs and ice inside of a water pump to cool down the gram condenser. And I have right here a volumetric cylinder, which will then collect my distillants, and my separatory funnel to be able to separate the rosemary hydrosol and the rosemary essential oil. And of course the Florence flask, which is going to contain the fresh rosemary and distilled water. And now let's see how much this rosemary bundle weighs. And as you can see, it's 107 grams. And in ounces, that would be 3.75 ounces. Next, what I need to do is I need to take my scissors and take the fresh rosemary and cut it up into small pieces on top of this paper so I don't lose any of it, and put the small pieces inside of the Florence flask. Small pieces will fit better in the Florence flask and cut up this rosemary into one centimeter pieces or quarter of an inch piece, just like this. And as you can see, I have two batches. Filling up the Florence flask only halfway is what you need to do. If you fill it up to the top, it'll cause it to overflow and then make a whole mess in your distillation apparatus. Next, I'm gonna take this Florence flask that's filled up with rosemary and place it on top of the heating mantle, just like this. Next, I'm going to take some food grade vacuum grease and put it onto the thermometer joint, just like this. There we go. And now take this thermometer joint and connect to the Florence flask. And twist the Florence flask to be able to spread the grease, just like this. And there we go, put it into place, put all the clamps together, and there, it shall look just like this. But wait, I forgot to put the distilled water inside. Okay, take off that joint, separate the two, put it to the side. Next, I'm going to take a funnel and put it on top of the Florence flask, just like that. Take some distilled water and pour it inside. Pour the water till it's about halfway, just like that. There we go. Remove the funnel. Next, I'm going to take this straw and poke at the rosemary, just so that way I can submerge it better underwater. This part isn't really necessary, but I just feel a little bit more comfortable doing this. And there we go. Connect the two joints together. Put the joint clamp in, and now turn on the heating mantle, turn it up to nearly maximum. Next, adjust the thermometer to make sure it's measuring only the steam, so that way when it reaches 100 degrees Celsius, your distillation process is ready to begin. Here is my favorite part. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in, and you can see the water fill up inside.
20 minutes later, and as you can see, the water is boiling, and the steam is being condensed inside of the gram condenser. Rosemary essential oil and hydrosol is being collected inside this Erlenmeyer flask. But this color is a little bit concerning. I believe it's contaminated. One more hour later, and this is what I've collected. And as you can see, the rosemary is slightly spent. You can tell by the discoloration. But right now, I'm going to stop the process because the results are not the color I was looking for. So I believe there's some contamination. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heating mantle. Detach the joints. Next, I'm going to remove the Erlenmeyer flask that contains my result. And this is what the final product looks like of the rosemary hydrosol and essential oil. It still looks very contaminated to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pour it into my separatory funnel and let it sit for a little while and then see what kind of results I get. Basically what I've done is I took my first batch and I put it to the side, just so that way I can compare my second batch to the first one, which I have my second batch ready to go. Place it into my heating mantle just like that. Clamp it into place. Reattach the joints. and turn on the heating mantle. Another hour and a half later, and this is what my final result looks like. And as you can see, it's clear. This is exactly what it's supposed to look like. So clearly, my first batch, as you can see, is completely contaminated compared to my second batch. A huge contrast between the two. This right here is the culprit. This right here is a wood chip that came from my garden. This wood chip here, it is chemically treated to prevent any kind of fungus growth, bacterial growth, or rotting from the sun or from water, and it's just to decorate the garden. And I found a whole bunch of these inside of my Florence flask mixed with the rosemary. I didn't realize this was inside, and because of that, it's caused this kind of contamination. So my first batch is actually toxic, so I need to toss that and keep my second batch only. So what I have done is I took the separatory funnel, cleaned it, and poured my second batch inside. And I'm just doing this to test to see how much rosemary essential oil I've actually collected. So I'm going to go ahead and pour out the rosemary hydrosol into the volumetric cylinder. And, oh, as you can see, I've collected some rosemary essential oil. So now I'm going to go ahead and pour some more distilled water inside to wash off the sides. There we go, just like that. Shake it up a bit to get all the rosemary oil off on the side. And as you can see, this is what my final result looks like for my second batch. And as you can see, I've collected rosemary hydrosol in the Erlenmeyer flask, and in the volumetric cylinder, some rosemary hydrosol and rosemary essential oil floating on the top. And as you can see, I've collected close to one milliliter of rosemary essential oil. So what I'm going to do is take my pipette and suck out some of the rosemary essential oil that's sitting on the top. There we go, just like that. And put it inside the amber vial, just like that. Next what I'm going to do is take an empty amber vial, put it on top of my scale, tear it, and to do this, I'm going to go into my other amber vial that's containing the rosemary essential oil and concentrated rosemary hydrosol and see how much I've collected. Oh, as you can see, I've collected 1.35 grams of rosemary essential oil and concentrated rosemary hydrosol. And as you can see, I've collected more than 300 milliliters of rosemary hydrosol and 1.35 grams of rosemary essential oil and concentrated hydrosol. So if I'm extracting 50 grams of fresh rosemary, this is what kind of result you will get. And there you have it. Now you know how to make rosemary essential oil and rosemary hydrosol with using a simple chemistry distillation apparatus. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.